Hello everybody and welcome back. It is time once again for another episode of Densetsu Rama. Today, we're playing Tai the Tasmanian Tiger, released in 2002, a whopping 20 years ago for the GameCube and the PlayStation 2. I remember this game fondly. I played it quite a bit back in the day, and it has been re-released. The original developers, Chrome Studios, has finished a uh, Kickstarter uh, a while back. Um, I think it was late last year. And since then, I think they have released all three of them. Uh, Tie the Tasmanian Tiger 1, 2, and 3. Um, I'm not sure if they've done any of the others. Um, I'm hoping we get a fifth one, because there was a fourth one. I, If I remember correctly, don't quote me on all this, but I do believe that there was a Game Boy Advance only fourth one. And even those were good. Um, I'm not sure if this is an underrated game. I think that it has a cult following. I definitely followed it. But we're going to go ahead and get started. Now you play at... Well, we'll just let the, uh, let the cutscene carry our story out. Some of these old... Well, it's been remastered, so it looks a lot better. Not that I thought it was a bad-looking game originally. We play as Ty, the Tasmanian Tiger, in uh, the most Australian of themes... He's running through the woods. This was uh, this was an interesting game. It was around that time where you would pick it up and you wouldn't think much of it. It was uh, a fine game. I liked it a lot because I didn't have you know access. We didn't. We were children. We didn't have a job. We got a uh, our friend a bilby with his hiked too high shorts. We are a Tasmanian tiger, which I'm not sure if it is. Not the same thing as a Tasmanian devil. I, I have no idea. It is an animal, for sure. It is definitely a mammal, because him being a mammal is, like, the big um, driving force behind the main villain, which we'll see here in a second. Our, ma our mystical Australian boomerang. Get some of that Aussie magic. Don't be afraid, Ty. Don't be afraid, Ty. Gilly, the Bunyip Elder. Elder. I think Bunyips are also, like, you knew an truth. Australian cryptid. I think bunyips are some kind of cryptid. Uh, I'm, I'm not entirely ago, sure. I'm a little bit a behind. Uh, there's just a robot over the fate of five written on talismans. As prophesized, the big monkey robot. So we're going to get some plot backstory here. Giant gorilla robot. Piloted by Boss Cass. He's, uh, yeah, Boss Cass. He's, um... An emu? Or a... Uh... No, there's another bird. Not an emu. Uh, a cassowary? A, a, something like this. There's a bird with the word cass in it. I cannot remember. I think it's like cassowary or something. I, I could have that completely messed up. But we have multiple Tasmanian tigers. And this bird just believes that since he is descended from dinosaurs... That all mammals must die, even though his secret weapon, that big robot, is modeled after a mammal, a gorilla. Uh, you know, I don't know if this was the game that they ever thought was going to get any sequels. And this is definitely the best, even though the sequels um, were bigger. The sequels were much bigger, but I think they kind of lack the charm of this game. There's nothing wrong with them, I just think it kind of lacked the charm. So he, he, he's got the mystical Australian talismans. He opens up a portal to not nondescript other world. I think it was called the Dreaming. I think this portal led to another world. We gotta scatter the talismans because otherwise we don't have a plot. We don't have a game. Um, and then scorched earth. Just absolutely, I don't, I didn't recall that. I forget, now they're all T-posing. Trapped, trapped in the dreaming. Yeah, if I remember correctly, um, he's, he, he just stumbled into this cave and it's like, oh yeah, I've been here this whole time, but your parents are trapped in the dreaming. And, I don't know, Ty the Tasmanian Tiger, he's probably 20-something, I don't know. Pro actually, in these kind of games, he's probably like 16 or something like that. That seems to be the cool thing. Oh, Mori, our uh, tutorial bird. 
I was playing in the forest when playing the in the forest and suddenly found out uh, why I'm an orphan. It's like that sounds like you got a video game ahead of you. I don't want none of that. It's like you go have a game. I'm gonna sit at home. You go have fun. I'll tell you how to jump and how to boomerang parry. That's not a thing. Maybe it is in the later ones. I don't know. I think Welcome I played the second one. Cliffs, um, I've By only way, had fleeting moments signs, of playing the other I ones. Won't be far yeah, okay. All right, we're in. We're in. Uh, by the way, good bit of um, environmental storytelling. It's not that big of a deal, but I never noticed it while I was younger. Uh, right here across the bridge, we have ourselves the shrine where the portal to the Dreaming is open. Which, by the way, the Dreaming is never really visited in this game, I don't think. They don't really seem to talk about it. Um, if I remember correctly, they don't tell you what it is. You just... Spoilers! We'll, we'll get there, but they don't they don't go much into it. But this is where that, that uh, like, giant Dragon Ball explosion happened, and the whole area around it is a crater. It's a big lake. I never realized that. It's not that big of a deal, but I didn't even see it when I was younger. They don't talk about it. They're just like, yeah, I never realized it was a big crater. That's the kind of charm I'm talking about, where they just don't say it. They just do it. The true the true Australian Dark Souls. It So this follows kind of a um, Super Mario style, where you've got your portals here. Each portal leads to a level. You go through the level, and you go back to that level multiple times to get these um, thunder G'day, eggs. Julius. Thunder eggs are your power if stars that allow you to move on to, to different major seat. areas G'day, after you get so many. So we've got, um, oh, me. Oh. yeah, yeah, we've got tutorial here. We need 17 thunder eggs, which, uh, aside bunyips, I think thunder eggs are also something to do, also have something to do with uh, Australian mythology. Maybe it's just opals, maybe it's just, um, what do you call those? Uh, geodes, possibly. I don't know. It sounds like something that would be mythological. I'm, I have not well read on my... Uh, is, is Aussie... Is that is that insulting? Is that not politically correct? I don't know that either. I apologize if it is. I'll stop saying it. It is, it is much easier. We've got one boomerang. We need to go find another boomerang. If we have two, we can glide. The controls are simple. It's just a run, jump platformer with very simplistic um, combat. You push a button, you push a square to throw your boomerang. It comes back to you. If you got two, you can throw them both independently. And later on, you get access to some really... I got our first thunder egg. We get access to uh, elemental rangs and some optional rangs, which we'll try to get. This is by no means a 100% playthrough. I've done it before, and it really wears you down. Spawn points are shitters. Literally, you die, you just wake up in a shit house. It's fine. That, that is how it is. Maybe that, maybe that is insulting. Our tutorial bird, I didn't let him finish, but he will basically say that, uh, like, a week ago, he got, like, knocked upside the head by a bunch of enemies and just woke up taking a dump. So that's good to know. If I had a dollar for every time, it truly yeah, is the Dark Souls the of Australia. Yeah, 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 I've, we've seen it. We've got a bite attack that these guys will dodge. We've got non-sentient animals, unlike myself. Gather our opals, which, um, not gonna 100%, but they're collectibles. They're shiny. They're right in front of you. I will take maybe five steps backwards oh, to pick up some that I will miss. Other than that, I'm not going to make too big of a deal of it. We got frills. A really cool design. There's a lot of cool designs in here. Uh, the fact that Chrome Studios... I think there's something behind there. Oh, yeah, there is. These cogs will be used to get our optional rings later. Um, I can't swim yet. I have not unlocked that ability, so we just splash around like a wet dog, which Tasmanian Tiger may be. I don't know if it's true, but I heard about this place. All the tutorials are just him saying, I heard from a guy over at the bar say that you could push a button to do this. 
We got some punk ass wallabies. Or uh, kangaroo. See, these are these are kangaroos just like the other ones, but these are these are um, evil ones. And what's the di the difference between? Oh. So we've got here the Infinaru, and then we've got these guys over here. Oh, that's right. I've only got one boomerang. I was trying to throw three of them. We'll do our air bite. That seems to work out. Grab these for no reason. They don't really serve much of a purpose aside from uh, total completion, but they're shiny and I'm going to pick them up. Do a combo bite here. I did it from the wrong way. Going to pop back up. No? Okay, skip that one. It's fine. Thunder Egg. Okay, we did need that. Uh, that's important. I don't want to have to come back to this level. You want to get as many of them as you can because uh, it's just for the, the sake of time. And as far as I know, you can get pretty much everything in a level with one run through. You don't have to leave the level, I think. I don't believe there's any point where it kicks you out. Like the Mario games. Can't glide yet. Combo bite our way through these boxes. We saved one of our friends. Also just counts towards completion. The only thing that, well, the only optional things that we really want to worry about are those golden cogs because that's what's going to give us our really fun optional boomerangs, which we do want those. Because those are a lot of fun and there's a lot of them that you can easily miss. Um, if you just don't get any of them. I don't believe there's any that you get with those that you absolutely need. Oh, come on now. They might make you do it. I think with the, the fire and the ice rings, you might have to. Can I get up there? Yep. So we might need to collect them. So we should probably do it. Oh, hmm. yes. tutorial after yes. we've already collected two of them. Just they should really tell you ahead of time. Otherwise, I might have been uh, tempted to skip them or not worry about it. But now I know that they're out there. Jump up here. I'm not sure how many levels there are in this one. There is a very... I can't believe this game got remastered. Out of all of them, this was the last thing I thought was going to happen. I thought this game was just... You know, I have it on the GameCube, and it was just going to be lost to time. It was one of those ones I really liked, but nobody else really uh, worried about too much or remembered or thought. It was one of those things you just didn't think about it. And I saw a Facebook post one day. Chrome was back. And they were saying, hey, let's, uh, you guys want some, you guys want some Ty the Tasmanian Tiger? And I was like, yeah. Did, is that something that people wanted? I'm not saying it's bad, it's just, it was kind of unexpected. And uh, I'm, I'm glad about it. I'm really hoping that this is going to lead to some other... Um, ooh, big crap. How do I deal with you? Do I bite your butt? Oh, Nelly. Oh, no. Okay. What do I do about you? Oh, okay. I just bite you in the ass. That seems to take care of a lot of problems. That'll get you anything in life. Arrow says go that way, so we're going this way. Is there anything up here? Yeah. We got a, a cog. Okay, so there's probably one we have to get, because it's giving me a lot of cogs uh, right off the bat in this first level. So I was probably wrong. There probably is a required rang or two that you have to get. Oh, yeah, there definitely is, because they would not give you this many right out of nowhere. They want to give you a good start. Oh. And there we go. I'm hoping this is going to lead to some future things coming back. I'm trying to think of an example, but honestly, in this day and age of so many games getting remastered or re-released, I can't think of a lot of them that haven't gotten it. Um, I was surprised to hear about the trial, uh, Trials of Mana, Secret of Mana, getting re-released. Uh, and a, re a remake? That one got remade, I think. Um, but there's a lot of them that I want to see. Uh, Destroy All Humans has got a new one, got remakes. Um, I think those are remakes. I don't think those are just remasters. Um, so I, I'm really liking this. Um, I, I've heard people complain about companies just kind of cashing in on nostalgia. Ooh, we got our second rank. Just stuck in a rock. 
Is that a normal sight in Australia? Just got his ring stuck in a tree. But now we got two of them, and now we can glide. Um, there are people out there who think that uh, game companies are just kind of um, riding on the nostalgia of people. But hey, there's some. Sometimes you can't play these games. If you didn't have a GameCube or a PlayStation 2, or you just lost it, or sold it, or didn't have it for some reason, you would not be able to play this. So, there. I'm glad to see a lot of these things come back. Oh, we got a lot of boys. Now. Okay, so they dodge bites, so we don't want to... Oh, no. Okay, yeah, so if you... A little paw up there in the corner is my... Uh... Oh, we got a thunder egg from that. Nice. There are a lot I want to see. I don't know if anybody out there remembers this game. There's a lot of Scooby-Doo games. Um, but there was a specific Scooby-Doo game. I think it was just Night of a Hundred Frights. Was that it? It was the one... It's going to be really hard to narrow this down. It's the one with Scooby-Doo and Shaggy. It was the one where they started off, they were told that they uh, had inherited a mansion or something along those lines, and they showed up, and then everybody got separated and went missing. That was a great game. Um, I would love to see that one re-released. Actually, you know what? Okay, we're at the end of the level here, so the only thing we can do is just simply leave. What I really want to see, Nintendo, Chibi Robo. Give it. Give it back. Re release it, remaster it, just simply port it to the Switch. Port it to the Wii U. I don't I don't care. I just want to play it. I love Chibi Robo. And all it got was a really bad sequel on the DS that I did not like whatsoever. But re release it. Give it give it back to me. This is what you remember what they took from you. People, people say, you know, if you don't want us to, uh, if you don't want us to get ROMs on our emulators, then give us those games back, specifically the old Pokemon games. I get it. You want to remaster it, re-release it, but you're not making any money off of Chibi Robo. My piece of shit computer cannot emulate your game. <laughs> it's ridiculous to say, but I, you know, I don't know. I, I feel like that's what most people do. Is that why there's not so much support for bringing things back? Because anything anybody wants, they can just emulate it. Well, not all of us can. Plus, I want to give money for it. Somebody make it. I bought this. I bought this remaster because Chrome brought one of my favorite games back. Um, and they deserve my money for it. A second time. 20 years later, the same people are getting my money. But that's just me ranting, and that's enough ranting, because that is all the time we have left for this episode of Densetsu Rama. Next time, we will head down to Bly Bly Station and take a walk in the woods. <laughs>